things that delighted us most about Sister Batril was her imagination. It could turn an ordinary caterpillar weed into a sinister disguise. <laughs> or transform a bull grazing peacefully in the pasture into El Toro, terror of the bull. The big difference is your average matador weighs more than 90 pounds and doesn't wear aerodynamic headgear. And the bull does not exist for just... He probably is. Bulls don't just charge because you're there. They need a reason. Maybe he thinks you're cute. I'm not really a matador. I once gave five dollars to the SPCA. Just stay weak. But she's cuter. Your little old two legs just don't cut it. Now and then I find myself eliminating the opening sequence because it has nothing to do with the rest of the episode. This time it sets the tone for what's going to follow. Since Amazon doesn't exist yet, the sisters are good about buying their supplies locally. Milk, for example. Dos automobiles, cuatro automobiles, dos automobiles, cuatro... You were fed that time, Alicia. Automobiles. Since when do you sing soprano? <laughs> Do Mr. Hello? Gonzalo is a dairy farmer who sings opera. Why not? Music is music and we like what we like. But he's giving up the dairy business and moving to St. Thomas. At least he will as soon as he can find somebody to buy Alicia there. Wait a minute. Why don't you buy the cow, sister? Me? Sure. With what the convent is paying every week for milk. At the end, you save money, and the milk will be free. Well, that's right. I wonder why no one ever thought of that before. And it's only going to cost you $300. That's why no one ever thought of it before. He's dreaming. Every time the convent gets its collective hands on that kind of money, something explodes and the money goes to fix it. He says, how much do you have? And she says, nothing. But he has an idea. So Gonzalo traded his tractor to his cousin Francisco for a car. The only thing is, Francisco still owed six payments to the finance company, six payments of $50 each. That comes to $300. Now, all we have to do is meet those payments, and it's ours. The car? The cow. I see. And once it's paid for, it won't cost us a penny from then on. The cow? The milk. And butter and cheese and eggs. Eggs, Sister Bertrand? You didn't know cows also lay eggs? Someone's led a sheltered life. Well, anyway, it won't cost us anything to feed Alicia. Alicia? Uh, the, the cow. cow. Because she can graze in the grounds and mow the lawn at the same time. Nobody's mentioning the fact that cows also process the grass and return it to the ground in a slightly different form. Reverend Mother says it's interesting, but no. Reverend Mother, I already told him we were interested. <laughs> oh, Sister Patrill, the cook wants to know if you've ordered more milk. She did even better than that, Sister Jacqueline. It seems we bought the factory. The factory? The factory. Well, then, they'll make the most of it. There's just one problem. Alicia isn't producing any milk. We'll watch several meals without milk, and they all lead to the same conclusion. We need milk. I cannot find anything wrong with her. Isn't he looking at the wrong end? It's the first time I've been at a checkup for a cow. Physically, this cow is A1. But emotionally... 4F? Right. Is there a bovine psychologist on the island? This is a very sensitive animal. She's been my patient for years. She misses the familiar surroundings. The farm, the other cows. Believe me, there's but one thing wrong with her. She's lonely. Well, let's see what we can do about that. They can't exactly bring more cattle into the convent, so they'll improvise. Nobody can figure out what to do. If she's not producing, Alicia's a little out of place here. While Sister Betrill searched for the answer to Alicia's problem, life in the convent went on as usual. Well, almost. <laughs> now I know what it means to 
sacred cows. Maybe a lot out of place. Sister Bertrill is calling Gonzalo in St. Thomas. I'm at my wits end, Gonzalo. I, I just can't seem to get any milk out of her. For a while, I thought my hands were cold. I even tried using mittens. And, and she gives nothing at all? Trouble, yes. Milk, no. Pobrecita. If I could only have Alicia here, I know I could solve your problem. If you had Alicia there, I wouldn't have a problem. If I can only talk to her. Yes, she's going to do it in Reverend Mother's office. Sister Bertrand? Why must you be so stubborn? You she devil, you! It's Senor Gonzalo and St. Thomas. You called St. Thomas long distance? Good day, Senor Gonzalo. These things have been around long enough now that many of you never got to experience the joy of calling long distance and getting the bill afterward. You never had the fun of placing a call after 7 p.m. because it was cheaper or placing a person-to-person -person call to someone and having them reject it, but you wanted them to because you were just letting them know you were okay and didn't want to pay for a call to do that. The whole game was almost as much fun as doing your taxes. I'm sure there's someone out there who misses those days. If you are that person, please seek help. But surely there must be someone who... Someone who wants a cow for... For a, a different purpose. Butcher? Very good suggestion, Sister Patricia. They bought her for milk and they aren't getting any. Keeping her around just because won't work, so the only option is to sell her. And a cow that doesn't give milk is only useful for one other thing. Sad as it may be, that's the reality. Sister Bertrill will try to find anything else for Alicia to do, from pony rides to mascot for a steakhouse, nobody's buying. While they're walking from one place to another, Alicia gets loose and runs away. Where's she going? She went to some other cows. That makes sense. And I hope you noticed that kitten. He or she is going to be a major actor in the next sequence. These cows all look alike to Sister Bertrill, so the only way to figure out which one is Alicia is to try and milk them. I consider this the best sequence in the whole episode, and it's long enough that I can't show all of it without getting nailed. I'll do the best I can because you don't want to miss this, especially if you're a cat person. Or a cat. Not Alicia, that's for sure. <laughs> Whoops. Another case of mistaken identity. Farmers of all kinds tend to keep barn cats around to control rodents, and those cats do what cats do. One of the things they do is produce kittens, and dairy farmers have probably been having that kind of fun with kittens ever since the first human milked a cow. Our little friend is ready for more. Shame on you, Sister Bertrill, leaving the poor little thing all disappointed like that. She should have at least given it one more squirt from one of the others. But we don't know what Sister Bertrill thinks of cats. From what we've seen, she's more of a chimpanzee person. Well, did you have any luck? Or, or is Alicia going to have to go to the... B-U-T-C-H-E-R? <laughs> I'm afraid it's the B-U-T-C-H-E-R. Oh, B -U B to the... <laughs> if I could only get Alicia to St. Thomas, Gonzalo could take care of the problem. He told me so on the phone. Oh, well, you might as well forget it. Unless you can get a B-08. <laughs> a boat. She knows someone with a boat. Let's go convince him to transform his yacht into a livestock transport. It may take some doing. He has other plans. Sorry, Carlos, not Daniela. Sister Bertrill and Alicia. Who's Alicia? What I'm talking about is a cow. Huh. That sounds more like Consuela. 
His answer is predictable. Whatever she wants him to do with the cow, no. Now, thank you very much, sister. It was very nice of you to come by. Now, you can go and don't call me. I will call you. Bye-bye. One time in his life, he stood up to her and ushered her out. You can bet he's going to pay for that. I'm not interested in cows. <laughs> Daniela, I presume. He has to do some fast talking. Will I talk to you that way when I made such beautiful plans for the whole weekend? Really? Where are we going? Mm, whatever your heart desires. How about Punta Leone? Huh, that is just another deserted island. Well, that's the best kind. She's not so sure. Sister Bertrill, um, couldn't help but overhear. She says, how about St. Thomas? It's a fantastic place, great restaurants, you name it. And it well, just happens to be the place where you wanted to go, right? Well, I was going to ask you if perhaps on your way... If I have room for one more. No, uh, two more. You see, I have this friend. Friend? <laughs> Oh no, forget it! Watch that again, but pay attention to Daniela's reaction. <laughs> oh no, forget it! I think Carlos is about to be outvoted, especially when Sister Bertrill explains why Alicia isn't giving milk. Oh, the well, poor cow. Yes, you see, and if I don't get her to St. Thomas, well, they'll, they'll send her to the butcher. Well, that's something... Oh, terrible! But don't you worry, sister. We will get her to St. Thomas. I have a feeling if this show had any continuity, Daniela and Sister Bertrill could become best friends. So you guys are gagging up on me, eh? Okay. Uh... All three of you! Yeah. Yeah. Carlos! Wait a minute, Carlos! Now that's all right! Here, the kids to the boat, yacht! Now you can go to St. Thomas, but include me, out! And the Oscar for Best Impression of Samuel Goldwyn in a sitcom goes to... Not Carlos Ramirez. That wasn't a dramatic performance. That was a temper tantrum. Now, Carlos, stop acting like a little boy. Every time I try to act like a big boy, you always interfere. There's part of your problem. You're a little confused about what constitutes acting like a big boy. It doesn't always involve hormones, you know. Carlos, Carlos, what about our little trip? I'm not running a ferry boat for a cow. Carlos, calm yourself now. I told him he was going to pay for standing up to her. Between the two of them, they get him out of the water and Alicia on the boat. Away we go. What happened? Where am I? It's all right, darling. You're safe with me on your boat. Yacht. <laughs> Fog horns? With the sun shining? I think he's still a little groggy because that was the lamest foghorn he'll ever hear. Uh, <laughs> oh no, I am not going to allow this. This boat yacht is going back. Who's at the wheel? Hi, how are you feeling? Oh no. He says, I'm taking us back right now. Would you, would you rather stay down here with me? It's a long trip to St. Thomas, darling. And why are we wasting time talking? Excuse me. Is the cow bothering you? Not the cow. If she was bothering him, what do you propose to do about it besides also bother him? Oh, poor thing. I think she's still thirsty. Should I open the champagne? I don't think they drink champagne. <laughs> I think she needs more water. I know where there is plenty of water. In the ocean. <laughs> she can swim there. <laughs> See, Carlos, just be patient and eventually you'll get a kiss. Granted, she probably doesn't kiss like Daniela does, but you take what you can get. Gonzalo can't understand what's wrong. Even when he starts trying to milk her, nothing is happening. Alicia, mi muchachita, please give some milk, just like in the old days for Papa Gonzalo. 
Dos automóviles. Tres automóviles. Cuatro. Uh, it's coming, you see? You're kidding. She wouldn't give milk because she's a snob for Italian opera. Oh, what a beautiful sight. Dos automóviles. Tres it was the singing. That was what was missing all the time. That's it. You were right, sister. Only eight bars from Regoletto. And the ball is already careful. Great. So now Sister Bertrill not only has to learn an entire opera, she has to learn to sing it in a tenor voice. But now we have another problem. There's a fair amount of runtime left and we have nothing to put there. What to do, what to do. Do I need you? What a question. Does a needle have an eye? Does an eye have a pupil? And since it's singing that Alicia responds to, we have a song, of course. It's not exactly a Verdi opera, but I'm okay with that. Even when I was a music major in college, I wasn't an opera fan. Turns out Alicia responded to most anything, but she liked certain styles more than others. When somebody started playing a record of Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones, she nearly flooded the place out. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button to let me and YouTube know you want to see more. If you're not subscribed yet, punch me in the mask here and get signed up so you don't miss a thing because something is always happening here at Irving Zoo. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. He's dreaming. Every time the Conget Congent is on the phone to Gonzales. Sister Bertrill and okay. you'll get a kiss. Grantedly, she grantedly, grantedly, but she ha, but he has an idea. Good grief! Somebody has an idea. If I can figure out who it is, we'll be okay.